I, uh, a couple weeks ago, bought a spoon rest that looked like a mason jar at the craft store on sale, thinking that maybe if I sprayed it with zip, I could use it as an inexpensive mold for slumping glass. Uh, I have a video on that if you want to go check it out. It actually worked relatively well. So uh, inspired by that, I wanted to try again. I went back to the same craft store, and this time things were on clearance. And so I found, this is at Hobby Lobby, I found this uh, spoon rest. It's not my decor choice, but whatever. It's the it's about the shape that I was looking for. Uh, listed for $5.99, and they had it 66% off, so I got it for two bucks. So what I've done is, um, I actually bought a couple of these, assuming that this might work well. I'm going to uh, cut out the shape and uh, fire it and see if I can get a relatively decent result from this. The other thing I'm using is this um, double glue chip art glass. So this is stuff from, uh, I know where this came from, it's from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it was not purchased recently, it was purchased a while back. It's been in my stock for years, frankly, so it's all dusty and dirty. But you can see there's a little bit of a texture pattern on here. Um, it's called double glue chip style. Um, and then the side is uh, smooth, except for the dust that I've got there. But this is not fusing glass, and so everything I'm doing here, I'm just kind of practicing and learning and kind of seeing what kind of results I could get. It's it's always fun to experiment. So this glass is, the bottom line is, it was in my stock, it's super cheap. If this doesn't work well, that's okay. I'm out two bucks because of this and what I consider nothing because this has been around for years. So what I'm gonna do is, um, just like uh, other molds, I'm gonna cut my shape accordingly. So I've got the glass here. now. What I'm trying to think through is accommodating uh, the length of the handle. See how it dips down there? Um, it's actually more of a deep indentation here than I would than I would hope, but um, you know, I guess that's an effective spoon rest. What I'm trying to see if I can accomplish is using a single layer of this glass to uh, to make a spoon rest. And so, what I think I'm going to do is is as I trace this out to cut my glass. I'm actually going to extend, let's see, you can't see that very well. Um, I'm going to extend past the end a little bit uh, in order to accommodate the drop that happens in the bottom of that handle. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut my piece of glass. This is, this is really just kind of a rough approximation of the shape. Uh, I cleaned the glass and um, I think I'm pretty much ready to go into the kiln. So. Let me show you a couple of things that I'm considering as this goes in. And <laughs> again, this is really just an experiment, so we'll see how it works. But I've cut the glass, you know, roughly to the same shape as the, uh, as the item here. I've tried to allow for a little extra glass at the end to kind of dip down this handle part. Um, so this will be interesting. I'm gonna spray this thing down with, uh, with zip spray, release spray and then put it in. What I'm noticing is that there's a bit of an angle here to, to the way this um, ceramic is shaped. I'm not sure if you can see this. So what I think may happen is the glass may slide forward while it's slumping. So I'm gonna make sure it's on a uh, kiln shelf that's been treated so that I don't ruin a shelf in the process. Um, I'm hoping that that doesn't happen. And what happens is this front portion here slumps down into the cavity and that this back part, this tail, you know, will, will slump down and, and kind of fill in the tail. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay, here we are, I've got the kiln loaded up. I uh, put that spoon in there, I put a little piece of fiber paper under there because I just don't want anything to happen to that kiln shelf. Uh, so we'll see, this will be an interesting experiment. The, uh, the rest of these are, are molds that you may have seen in my last video. It's a mason jar mold from Hobby Lobby. I cut the same glass uh, to put on there and I'm gonna fuse those. So I can get, uh, you know, essentially five things in this firing. I know I have a relatively small kiln compared to maybe some of the others, but size doesn't matter, right? <laughs> Unless it relates to kilns, perhaps. Okay, so my schedule is I'm gonna fire this like I did um, these uh, uh, mason jars last time. What I'm trying to do, these have rough edges to them, so I'm trying to get a slump and then um, essentially, you know, nice soft round edges all in the same firing. So I'm going to go as fast as possible up to 1225. I'm going to hold that for three hours for 180 minutes. Then I'll take it as fast as possible to 1500 where I'll hold it for 20 minutes. 
then I'll take it as fast as possible down to 900, hold it for an hour, and then from there I'll uh, step it down 100 degrees an hour down to 600. So uh, here we go. We'll give it a shot and see if this worked. Okay, so the results are in, and um, womp womp. I don't think it turned out very well. The uh, couple of things I think that are worth noting, the, the glass really did kind of uh, collapse in more than they would on a more shallow mold. Now, looking at the positives, I mean, I, I, I guesstimated the end here kind of closely, but as you can see, it's uneven. I'll show you that again in a second, but it didn't, it didn't fully fuse correctly, um, or it didn't, it didn't rest like I would want. So, you know, that's why we do experiments. I, I will not pursue more of these. I, I also just don't care for the shape now that I see it in glass. I just, I don't think that as a spoon rest, people would use that. I've seen them where it's a much wider bowl here at the bottom, and so that's something worth uh, looking at. Uh, as I said, this doesn't even really sit level. So it was, it was something for me to try. You know, the ceramic sprayed with zip worked again. Spoon release just fine, no problems. And um, yeah, now I will show you, hang on. I made, in the same batch, I made multiple more of these uh, mason jar uh, spoon rests and these came out perfect. I mean the schedule's great for this particular glass that I was using. If you want more details on that you can go back and check out my other videos. I did a specific video on this one. So you know that's what experimenting is all about. It doesn't always work but you certainly learn something. Thanks for joining with me.